Hey guys, welcome to part three of my um, series dedicated to my friend playing all his favorite games and just telling stories about him and I. Um, for those of you who don't know, he passed away. I just found out. Um, he passed away last month and I just found out now. So. Um, so yeah, I guess back to more stories now that I can talk and play this game because it doesn't require um, story or for me to be quiet or for me to read dialogue. Um, yeah, he actually had a, a modified PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1 for that matter. And he, uh, he downloaded all sorts of like Japanese games and like imports and things like that. So he had an extensive collection of games, which is awesome. Because then, you know, I got to play all these cool games. And this game, actually, uh, for those of you who don't know, it goes up to 200% when you, while you're exploring this map which covers the whole screen, like that little piece, that's nothing. This is like 10%. So when you cover this whole thing, you have explored 100%, but the game goes up to 200%. And most people don't know because you see ending credits. And when you see the ending credits, you're just like, oh, I'm done with the game, right? So he beat this game, I think twice maybe, and uh, he was like, I'm done with this game. Here, Julian, you can, you know, you can have it, you can borrow it. So, he lends it to me, and I get, you know, I get like 95% or something like that. I beat the game, basically. And then, I, um, I discover something, because in the game, they give you hints. There are certain places that, that you, oh my god, I'm, in, I'm stoned. <laughs> not, not, oh god, I'm stoned again. Okay. That's an infinite loop. Okay, so uh, in this game, there are certain places that you can't get to until you've beaten the first half of the game. And I say half because there's this castle and then there's the reverse castle, which is this entire castle just inverted. It's upside down. So uh, it's the same map, just stronger enemies and everything is, ro is flipped upside down. So, I found the reverse castle, and I immediately called him up, because I know he didn't know about it. And I was like, Jonathan, I found something new. He's like, what are you talking about? And I was like, there's a, there's a lot more to this game. It's not just that boss you beat wasn't the final boss. There's so much more to this game. And he was like, no way. Like, I, I, I explored the crap out of that game. I got 100%. You know, like, there's no way there's more to this game. And I was like, you gotta come over right now, then. Please, like, come over right now. So he came right over, and that's fine, because we were, we were neighbors. We lived literally a building across from each other, meaning le a less than five minute walk. The walk was longer getting in your elevator and going down, or like going down the stairs. That's what took longer than actually just, um, walking to the other building so we were less than five minutes away from each other he came right over it's as if he ran and uh you know i show him like the new world and he's like i never been there how did you get there and he's just freaking out so then i was just like so happy and proud of my accomplishment the next minute i know he's already ejecting the game and he he like he's like yeah i'm taking this home with me and i'm like oh my god can you like let me play it and, and he's just like, nope, sorry, Julians, I gotta, I gotta, like, beat the game or whatever. And I was like, oh my god, you bastard. And I was so pissed at him. Because <laughs> it's, like, kind of a jerk move. But, uh, <laughs> he loved this game. And then two days later, he beat it. He got 200%, and I was just like, well, okay. <laughs> and then I took my time with it, pretty much. But then I learned how to speed run it, and, um... It's such a shame because, I don't know, he, he's commented on some of my YouTube videos before and I just figured he would have noticed or would have seen, you know, but I posted a couple of glitches from this game and I never got to share with him what I found in this game that I know he would have appreciated or at least would have enjoyed, you know, but I guess it is what it is and we can't change the past, so...
But um, I guess back to more fun and funny stories. Um, he used to get really angry at when, when we would play video games, especially fighting games like Marvel vs. Capcom 1, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, all these, you know, crossover games. He, um, he was good. He's pretty much the reason I have my fundamentals in fighting games as well. Um, and Smash. So he, he's my mass, he's my sensei. I could wholeheartedly say he is my sensei. Um, so we would play, let's say, um, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, right? And I would use Chun-Li on him. And I would hit him in the legs. I would hit him low while we're, we're like facing each other, hit him low and I would do a super and he it would, it would connect. So he would be like, all you do is hit in the legs, man. And, then, and I was like, yo, just block low. You shouldn't be getting hit by that. And he, and he got so pissed. Then like I kept doing it and he was, and, I, and then he would get mad. He would slam my controller down. He broke one of my controllers actually. And then I would laugh because it's funny to see him get frustrated, not because I was winning, but because he's getting angry and the comments he would say, he's like, oh, you like to hit in the legs, motherfucker? <laughs> so then like, when I would laugh, he would get angry and he, he would physically punch me in the legs and he'd be like, oh, you want to hit in the legs? And he'd start wailing on my legs and he was a big guy and I was like always small and skinny and, you know, frail. So then I'd, <laughs> I'd like scream and even, I guess, sometimes start crying because I was little and um, I'm probably going to die on this boss. And he'd be like, oh, you're not laughing now, are you, motherfucker? <laughs> it was like now just thinking about it, it's just hilarious. Um, <laughs> like our exchanges and just, the way we were. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm just focused on this boss, but um. Oh shit. Yeah, I messed up. I'm supposed to kill this boss like really quickly by doing this uh, soul search move. Not soul search, but uh, oops. I forgot the command for it. But yeah, I, I can't get get close to this guy now because actually, let me just. Can I look it up? No, I can't. I don't I don't have it yet. Yeah, he, he's gonna come in. I forgot how to do the, the multi-spirit attack, which does like 60 hits on him. But um This I'm way uh, under leveled for this. But yeah, he he'd always get mad. Um he was one time playing Ape Escape, and that was the first time the analog stick came out, so we were learning how to use it. Well he was learning how to use it because he didn't let me play. And um there's this one helicopter item that you have to spin the analog stick around really fast. The right analog stick while you're moving with the left analog stick. And he couldn't do it. He spent like an hour and a half trying to beat that mission. It was like a training mode mission. And uh, I, I kept asking him, let me try, let me try. He never let me try. So then I was laughing because he was like mad. He was like... Oh, let me see you do it, Mr. Big Shot. That was his famous line whenever I would laugh. And I would go, okay. And then, I kid you not, my second try, I beat it. And he was just mind blown. He was just like, what the fuck? You can do all the hard shit. But when it comes to the easy stuff, that's what, you can't do that, can you? <laughs> and I'm like, nope. But um, yeah, we had an, a fun friendship, I'd say. Um, we had a lot of fun together. Um, another time he broke his Pokemon Stadium game because he said that Zapdos, he knows Zapdos isn't that strong because it was one-shotting his Mewtwo that he used a Game Shark for, his special green Mewtwo because uh, it was just a shiny version, but uh, I won't, I'll never forget that too. He, he ripped it out of the N64, threw it at the wall, and said, you wanna fuck with me, motherfucker? Okay, let's play. And he started punching it, the cartridge. <laughs> and he's like, I know Zapdos isn't that strong. And he kept punching the cartridge and throwing it at the wall. And he's like, I don't see you laughing now. <laughs> and, I was, and then like, he put it back in and it didn't work. And he blew on it and he put it back in and it didn't work. It was a brand new game. 
So then, <laughs> he's like, oh, you want to fuck with me? And he, he takes it out and he throws it at the wall again, even harder this time. And he said, oh, motherfucker, let's see if you're not going to work now. And basically, repeat this five to six times and me laughing. And while I'm laughing, he like saw me laughing and he like punched me a couple of times for la- I wasn't laughing at him, I was just laughing because it's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, that, those are some good times. Uh, he also showed me a lot of the NES games that I'm a big fan of, like Double Dragon 2, um, River City Ransom. Metroid was, that was my parents. Um, because I grew up, I was born in 1989, and Nintendo had already been out at the, before that. So my parents had an NES by the time I was born. So a lot of the games that I, you know, that I grew up with came from my parents and my friend Jonathan. Since he was a little bit older, he was able to get different games too. So he taught me about Double Dragon 2, Ninja Turtles, um... I always liked Ninja Turtles. On the Super Nintendo, I had uh, Turtles in Time. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just awesome to, like, kind of, you know, grow up with an older brother or a friend who is older than you and into video games, too. Um, another thing, we, we then learned about ROMs and emulators together, but uh, I actually shouldn't be talking about that on, on YouTube because it's, like, against the law, I guess. Um, we learned about Mugen, and we learned how to like make our own fighting game, and put the characters in, and and all all this stuff. We we made our own game, and we a lot of the flat the flash videos on Newgrounds. We were a, we saw them when they first came out. Like all these flash videos that that are really old and ancient now. Those were like our favorites, and I don't know. Before Newgrounds got popular, we. We definitely, like, were on it all the time. Because, like, the internet was still fairly new when we were kids and when we were teenagers. And, um, so it was just, we had a lot of fun together. Like, even before YouTube came out, there was just new grounds and flash videos. You would always just look for some funny-ass flash video or something that's kind of like anime or... Um, we also actually learned how to animate Flash together, um, and we learned a piano together, which I was never that good at. He was always way better than me at the piano, but basically, I, um, I'm trying to remember why. I took an interest to piano, and, uh, I got one for Christmas, so we stayed up all night that Christmas. He spent every Christmas at my house. Cause I'd get like the coolest shit. When I got first got a Dreamcast, he was there. We played House of the Dead 2, Soul Calibur, Crazy Taxi, all these awesome games. I also got Donkey Kong 64 that Christmas too. And that was a, a really nice Christmas. Oops, I messed up. Well, basically, this is a glitch that requires that, um, the librarian to talk to me. So I'm gonna go and and uh, end this run. This uh, actually, I mean, I'll, I'll just walk around. The library music is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so he, he was a big inspiration and a big influence in my life. Um, we would compete over who can learn the songs like the fastest on the piano or the best. Who is the better pian <laughs> pianist? And we'd make fun of the word because it sounds like penis. I know, so immature, right? But, um, you know, we, we were immature. Um, and, I don't know, we, uh, we competed in that. We competed in flash videos and working out and pretty much everything that, that one can compete in with a friend. Oh man, I didn't, I didn't do it at the right, at the right position for this. Um, hopefully I have enough magic to make this jump. Let's see. Oh, actually I messed up because one of the books is then supposed to knock me up there into it. So, uh, I messed up. 
But uh oh. But yeah, this this song is I think this was his favorite track in the game actually. So I don't mind sitting here and just hanging out for a bit because I messed up the speedrun, but I'll walk around and kill some enemies. Um but yeah, we learned how to play the song from Aladdin, Furry Lease, Nocturne, you know, all these like classic songs because the piano shows you it. You know, it like shows you the notes and all that stuff. So um, he then bought his own piano and he got big into uh, into playing it and he, he got good. So um, that, that was really awesome. Um, another, another thing, he bought a blow dart, a blow dart gun. And... He practiced using it. It shot these long metal needles or like rods, and when he would shoot them into the wall, they would stick into the wall like really deep. So one time he told me, Julian, put your hand on the sofa. And he had his blow dart gun in his hand. And I'm like, no. And he's like, Julian, you better put your hand on the sofa. And I'm like, no. And he's like, what, you don't trust me? And I'm like, no, I trust you, just I don't want to do it. And he was just like, Julian, you better fucking put your, your hand there. He was getting mad at me. And I was like, no, I don't want to. And like, he grabbed my wrist and put it there. He's like, you better fucking put it there. Or I think he was like threatening to kick me out or something. I don't know. It was something silly, but... But, <laughs> long story short, I closed my eyes and I had my hand on the sofa extended with my fingers wide open and he's like just trust me Julian why don't you trust me <laughs> and I'm like because you have a fucking blow dart gun pointed at my hand um so long story short I close my eyes and I hear him <gasps> like blow into the gun and it, I hear the needle stick and then I look look at my hand and there's a giant metal rod in between my middle and ring finger so he he avoided my hand which I thank him for that because if he was a bad shot I would have been fucking pissed I would have probably had a scar there right now um, but he, he did he, he shot between my fingers and he didn't hit me so that that was actually pretty remarkable um, and I didn't think about it until now oh not enough not enough height um, yeah, that that was a fun time. Uh, we would also play Mario Party 2, and he'd get pretty pretty pissed at like the bad luck. <laughs> he had this. Oh, we also played Pokemon together. We we had the link cable for red and blue version, and we would always link battle and trade. And I actually collected all 150 Pokemon in my red version, but then someone stole my game. I couldn't. I never found that version again, ever. Um. But yeah, I mean, you know. So I, I can't stress this enough, guys. I'm probably going to be ending the video here. Um, definitely, if you have friends that have moved away, because he ended up moving to Florida, and then him and I, um, he never made a Facebook, so it was hard to contact him. My iPhone decided to wipe all my contacts. So it was very hard for us to get in touch. Um, I don't think he was checking his YouTube anymore by that point. So... Um, yeah, guys, just if you have uh, any close friends or relatives that you haven't spoken to in some time because you've been busy or, you know, you've been working, maybe with school, maybe just your, your other life is is in the way, you know, and you're, maybe you're focused on making money because you're in student debt and you're still living with your parents and you're trying to figure out how to move out, trust me, like, reach out to them, like, even if it's just five minutes, even if they don't pick up. Even if you have to work a little bit to get back into contact with them, if they're if they meant something to you, just please do it right now. You know, get in contact with them. They're they're not going to be angry with you if you haven't spoken to them in a long time. They're going to be happy to hear from you. Um, tell them you love them. You know. Um, another thing: take pictures with your friends. Um, definitely, because you you don't know how much you're going to miss them when and if they're gone or just later on down the line it's nice to look back and when you're older and remember fun and funny ass and even the hard times with your friends you know it's all 
it's all good memories because you look back on it and you realize how trivial everything really was, you know. So cherish your friends, you know, reach out to them, stay in contact, um, you know, and I've always valued my friends, but like, I guess since I've been getting older and I'm, I'm out of college, I've just been focused on making money because, you know, I really want to live my own life. I want to be on my own, have my own apartment so I can stream and make more YouTube videos and just have fun, you know, because I, ah, just, it, it's rough, but just don't forget about your friends. That's all. And, and if you're ever feeling down, just talk to somebody about it. Um, so I guess that's going to conclude this series for the most part. I might um, talk about my friend in some other videos later on. Just here and there, you know, just as the memories come to me. But uh, as far as like dedicated to him, uh, I mean, I, I plan on playing some of his other favorite games that I've never played, like Chrono Cross, Final Fantasy IX. I've never played any of those. So I'm going to see why those indeed were his favorite games. And um, yeah, guys, uh, just thanks for watching. I know I did a lot of talking and there wasn't too much interesting gameplay, but hopefully you weren't bored. Hopefully, you know, you guys enjoyed it. So, um, thanks for listening if you did, and, you know, it really does help me out, and, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I just really want to thank you guys, like, you know, even if you're a subscriber, even if you're not, just thank you, thank you for being here, and, um, have a good night, I'll catch you guys next time, peace.